Hey angels, I hope you're having a great day so far. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Lola Kate, thank you for joining me. So in today's video, I'm going to show you an easy to follow hair hack to trim or cut the ends of your hair blunt. Okay, so first of all, this certainly is not the way that I cut hair in the salon, but this hair hack does actually work if you follow the steps correctly. I'll just go through now and talk about the things you're gonna need. So the first thing is scissors hair scissors, not craft scissors or kitchen scissors because they will do more damage than good to the ends of your hair. So if that's all you have, then I don't recommend trying this. The next thing you're going to need is some combs. So I've got a comb for cutting and then I also have a tail comb to help you part, a paddle brush or any brush, but I'm just using this one here. And the next thing you're going to need are some hair ties and also an elastic, optional, but I prefer these for the ends of the hair. I'll show you what I mean. And a handheld mirror so you can see what you're doing, see how the back's going, very important. So I've already washed and blow dried my hair straight, which is what we're going to need for today. So we can see exactly where we're cutting and so we can also see exactly how the hair is sitting. If you have wavy or curly hair, I definitely recommend straightening your hair before you try this hack. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first I need to assess the current shape of my hair from the last haircut. I do have long layers around the face and throughout the back, which I am growing out. At the back, the ends of my hair are quite textured and we have a rounded shape on the bottom, which will be coming up today for more of a clean, blunt line. So the first step is to thoroughly brush all of the hair back and down flat into the same direction. Next, we smooth the hair down and flat into a low ponytail and as low to the back of the hairline as possible and in the middle. Once it is completely smooth and flat, I then use my first hair tie to secure the ponytail in place. Next, I add a second hair tie just below the first one and keeping it as neat and as flat as possible. I then add a third hair tie below the second one and what this does is it keeps the hair in the same direction and creates even tension to the ponytail. Next, I'm adding an elastic to the ends, which are thin in comparison to the rest of the ponytail, which is why I prefer an elastic because it won't slip out. If you do have longer hair than what I do, I do recommend using more hair ties than what I have today. So just choosing how much I want to cut off today and I can adjust the hair ties or elastic to whatever length I like. I'm going with the last one and I'm just going to cut on top of the last elastic, just clean and blunt straight across. Okay, and now with the mini pony that goes straight into the bin. Next, we remove all of the hair ties and we are now just going to have a look at the shape of the hair. So it's good we have all of that length off. So, with the shape at the moment, both of the sides will be longer than the center of the hair. So the center of the hair is going to be the guideline, which is what the final length of the overall haircut will be. So with my tail comb now, I am parting the hair straight down the center. And now we have two sections here. So starting off with this side first, from the top of the head to the back of the ear with my tail comb, I am now creating another part. Combing my hair down flat with that first section and adding in a hair tie, nice and low, and then picking up that back section of hair and creating another low ponytail. And now I'm just going to do the same thing for the other side. So if your hair is not layered around the face like my hair is, then your two front ponytails will be longer than what mine are, which just means that you'll be cutting more hair around the front than I am today, but it is still the same process. And that's a total of four ponytails. So I'm just going to zoom you in closer. Okay, so picking up the back ponytail, 
and finding my guide which is the shortest section of hair in the ponytail so now starting to point cut into the longer end of that section to bring it up closer to the guide which is the shortest piece of that section so with point cutting it is holding your scissors directly up and not on an angle and slowly chipping away at the extra length rather than holding your scissors horizontal and cutting your hair across blunt. With point cutting, it's a lot more precise when we are cutting our own hair. It's also really good for removing split ends and it's sitting a lot softer. Those ends are not going to be bulky and harsh. It's going to sit nice and flush. And once we're happy with the length, I now start to work on the first ponytail, which is in front of the hair. And I'm just lining it up and using the ponytail behind as my guide and just blending it up together. Now using my hands to smooth the hair down with some tension so I can see any hairs that I have missed and just check if I need to lighten up a few pieces. And this section in here is still too long and too heavy on the ends. So I am continuing to point cut until it blends up with the line. Now with the back ponytail, I'm now combing all of the hair in the opposite direction. And as you can see, I have a lot of stray hairs that are coming through from underneath the hair. And I am continuing to point cut into the longest strands until they blend up into the solid line that we are creating. And now I'm just going to pop my head back. That way I can check for any strays that I have missed from underneath. If so, just point cut. Okay, now I am measuring and mapping out the other side that we are now about to start on. So as you can see, we have the guide, which is the shortest piece. So that corner needs to come off, but I'm also making sure that I use the other side that we've just cut as a guide as well. So I'm now working with two guidelines and just measuring up and mapping up exactly what needs to come off so that both sides are exactly level. Okay, and I am doing exactly the same thing on this side. It's just that I'm starting to cut at the front of the hair rather than starting from the back ponytail. And that's just so I can balance both of the sides together so they're both level with each other. So once I have finished cutting the other side, I then check that the length is exactly where I like it. Now just taking out two of the ponytails so I can work on this half of the head first. Just combing my head down and checking that I haven't missed anything and that both of those sections are blending in together. Just stretching my head up and to the side so that anything from underneath that I've missed is going to come through now so I can point cut it. Okay, and now I'm just going to comb all of my hair from the back and the front all the way to the side and we're going to start straightening up that edge. So this is now where if I need to very lightly, I can cut across blunt if I need to, or just point cut any little bits that are not blending in with the clean line. And I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the other side. So stretching my neck at different angles, that way everything from underneath that is not level is going to show through now. I'm also just using my hands to help smooth the hair down and also just to give me some extra tension while I check that bottom line. So once I have checked each side, I'm now going to hold my head straight, hold my scissors horizontal and clean up the blunt line. So once I have finished cleaning up the front area, I like to do one final check by popping my head all the way back and combing all of my hair to the front and just checking for any stray hairs that I have left. And then what I like to do is comb my hair all the way back and make sure that it is nice and even. And I'm pretty happy with the length. Let me know your thoughts on today's video and if you have any questions, pop them in the comment section below as I'd be happy to help. I really do hope that you have enjoyed today's video and if so, please remember to like, share and subscribe. 
Okay, besties, thank you for hanging out with me today. Take care of yourselves, stay amazing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.